So, as we expected, I'm going to be going with Olimar. Wolf, I believe, does have a better individual matchup than Fox against Olimar, but again, it just comes down, it's it's negligible, and it comes down to what you're more comfortable with, so Korean probably going to keep going with the main in either case. Stop that Olimar! I believe you need to switch sides there, so I'm be backing out. He does go for the wolf. Interesting. Wolf's fair, of course, does just enough damage to get rid of a Pikmin in you know, very few hits. So that might be a bit more advantageous for him. Game one on PS2. And him just staying back for the moment, wishing to latch perhaps a white Pikmin on him very early. Down throw. Does not get a dash attack follow-up. Korean is just playing this expertly, only backing out, spacing these fares very well. Drifts back from there, misses the grab, and he's going to keep the yellow pick and punish for it. Very slight. I'm hit, but percent is percent. I'm hit, makes it back safely. The down smash and the up smash, neither of those are going to connect. Falling air. Forward smash only going to meet the pick and I'm hit, following the purple pick, and now he will have the chance to play advantage for the first time in this game, only for the moment. Korean falls with an air, regains stage control for just a second. Up air, gets an on hit. Back attack, gonna cross up his shield and down throw. Goes for the forward throw, in fact, just to tech mix up. Interesting, we're gonna see him go for the up beat on stage. He has used that up special to great effect earlier in this pool. He did manage to secure a kill with it, but I'm hit gonna draw first blood with the down air. And there gets him off stage Korean. Debated about going for perhaps a down air or an air to get him off stage for good, but off to go with a safer plate. Spot dodges around it, does not get the up smash or the down smash he was seeking, and now he's facing the wrong way. Gets that up smash through the platform. And escapes without too much damage to his name. Fair into up air. Up throw into fair as well. Korean absolutely flying here in that second stock. Barely managing to avoid the down smash, but now I'm hit. A quick aerial combo of his own that's about 40 damage. Throws out all of his Pikmin and he's just fortunate he checked that because that could have been a down smash if he didn't. Korean expert at punishing those, but now I'm hit, looks back on stage, goes around the ledge. The dash attack and sent him off stage. I'm hit, makes it back safely, shields the blaster. You can tell he wants that purple Pikmin in front. Of course, Olimar's forward smash with the purple Pikmin was significantly buffed in 4.0. So he may be looking to take advantage of that. If not, perhaps a safer option. Waits out the F smash. Shields the back air, but the dash attack on the sweet spot will kill for Korean. He is now the first to take his hip to his final stop. Runs around the shields, the blaster as well. That's going to be an throw kill where I'm hit all square no damage taken for a second I'm hit already at 52 percent just you know the shortest of combos but if the Pikmin are in the right order and you do have those inputs down that's what Olimar will grant you I'm hit very aggressive with two purple Pikmin out just racking on the damage here 40 percent 20 percent in the lead rather now Wolf gets the grab, gets the tech as well, and shields out the down smash. Very smart from I'm hit. That will kill at this percent from Korean, and both players know it. It's around it. 
How's Green gonna land safely? And waits it out. Gets the up smash through the shield, and I'm have just dropped it at the exact wrong moment. Korean is going to take game one over, I believe, the one seed of this entire tournament. What an upset this would be. Considering how well that game one went, I can't imagine Korean would be even thinking of going back to Fox right now. I'm have just keeping the floor plan, changing the game plan instead. Of course, the same characters from the two of them. I think Pikmin management was very good throughout the first two stocks, and I think that's probably going to be his key to victory if he wants to bring it back. Falling through that nair is Korean. He's back on stage. Now, Korean beginning to press the issue a little bit. Down throw into the dash attack. Misses. Good avoidance. That down smash is not even close. I'm hip. Sends the purple Pikmin plummeting off stage. Back throw from Korean. Wanted that nair. That probably wouldn't have sent him as far as he hoped at 60%, but who knows, back throw from Einhip now, gets that red Pikmin attached, that's going to be a nuisance. Gets him through this, through the platform with the up air. Forward air from Einhip, so, so potent if you have the right Pikmin queued up. Spot dodges that Pikmin throw. Now the forward throw. I'm not quite sure why he's going for some of these forward throws. You know, that might work against perhaps a lesser opponent, but Einhip is going to tech those 90%, if not more, of the time. Goes for another up special in neutral. Up smash from Kareem. A very, very powerful tool if you haven't spaced it directly. He's going to end this, but 93% of where... A lot to make up in game two. Oh my goodness. Um, did we turn down my headset a little bit? Uh, gets the dash attack. Misses the dare, but not too far away. Forward throw. I'm just gonna jump out of that one, not even risking the attack because I'm hit. Good parry. Uh, Kareem managed to bring it back a little bit. Down to about 50% from a 90% deficit. Those blasters, of course, going to just get rid of the Pikmin instead of his primary objective of blasting down the damage. That one just going to be the up throw. Will manage, or well, that will just seal it out either way. I'm hit. No, he's just going to stay in place for the moment. Like the Pikmin he has on deck, not going to change it up. Throws out the blue. Throws out the kitchen sink, in fact. He's throwing everything out of Nair. Green's gonna recover a little bit. Nair up, rising through the platform. Easy for the F tilt, but good ledge trap for the Nair. Reflects the blue Pikmin, and wow, what great improvisational thinking from Korean. At 100 something percent, that's going to be the pinch and glow. Whistles around it, and now I'm him showing why he's the one seed. Not going to go down without a fight, staving him off But the approaching there from Korean. Purple Pikmin sends him back. Yellow Pikmin playing guard, rolls around it. And the back throw, not quite, but you can tell the crowd is feeling this one. They want to see it. And there's a clear favor here. Spaces around the down smash on the fourth smash. Fourth match, a bit too far back, but that certainly would have killed. It's minus 10 on shield, in fact, so it's not the worst option. Of course, it does have to connect. I was going to make it back. Just opts to up the, and that might spell the end of it. Omar has lost, you know, a lot of his potency, of his kill power in previous patches, but one thing he hasn't lost is those throws. I'm hit closing out two entire stocks of Korean. With just that one move, back to PS2, all three games on the set have been played on PS2. 
Once again, if we could just turn the audio down a little bit. Game a piece from Einhead and Dorian. Now the fourth throw dash attack. Dorian to connect this time. That's the first time he's gotten that confirmed in this entire set. You wouldn't know it with how he's been playing because he's managing to keep this very, very close even in the game he did take. And then four, no, the down smash, not quite. On the brink there, Einhip knows he was lucky to survive that one. Another down smash going to send him almost the entire reverse length of the stage. The up smash won't connect. There, from Einhip, attempting to bring it back in the first off. Blue Pikmin attached. And this time, just stuffs out the up B on stage. Does not get punished for the side B. Misses the ledge grab, but... Einhip just wasn't ready to do anything about it. Another Nair off stage. Those who've been so good at just calling out Einhip's jumps. Unearths three entirely new Pikmin. It sends them forward. Backwards facing you. Tell Einhip perhaps going for a back air now. And another throw. Just sealing these stocks one by one by one. It's like I'm watching a replay at this point. Misses the tech. And eats a lot of damage for it. I mean, not playing nervous, per se, but playing perhaps uncharacteristically poorly in neutral for his third stock, especially compared to how the first two games went. Manages to make it back. And that Nair almost doing the trick. Back door probably will seal it out. Yes, it will. See that helmet going to crack right there, but 97%, again, a lot to make up. Nair going to start it with 10%, but some of these Pikmin can multiply that in a heartbeat. Falling Nair once again, that's been Korean's best friend this entire set. Reads the tech in, or uh, this tech, rather, and no roll. Uphill, but up air through the platform for Einhip looking very, very solid. It's like he put this first game entirely behind him. Korean throwing out very wishful thinking down smash. And now down throw, perhaps going to follow up with a Nair. Or a bar back air if he has the space to do so, but the up smash from Einhip. Poke through the shield as well. He didn't drop it at a poor time. Looking very small, even with the small shield for Olimar. Looking like a very poor chance. He waits out the spot dodge into the down smash. Does not get that punish. So Korean still hanging on. Still alive. Does not fall for that up smash bait. Down air from Einhip, he has two purple Pikmin on deck. Gets rid of the red one and the purple Pikmin will seal it for him. Einhip overcomes a shaky start, makes it all the way back. Korean throws his hands up. He knew, you know, he, he 